The Northern Artistic Renaissance. The first artist is Lucas Crenshaw the Elder. He was born in 1472 in Cronach. He got his love for art from his father, Hans Mahler. Lucas often traveled when he was creating his paintings, sculptures, and engravings. His most successful painting is a mural in the church, St. Catherine. He finished the mural in 1506. His next piece was in the Netherlands. He spent several months creating his holy kindred altar piece. Lucas also spent time creating portraits, mostly middle-aged women. Lucas, Lucas's art went through three phases. He created people in rugged landscapes. Then he was involved in the Protestant Reformation, driving them to create sculptures and engravings. Then lastly, he focused on individualism. This made him want to create portraits. Lucas was also elected and became a town councilor in 1519, 1537, and 1540. Later, he retired in 1550, soon after he passed in 1553. The Northern Artistic Renaissance refers to a period of cultural and artistic ability in Northern Europe, Germany, the Netherlands, and Flanders during the 15th and 16th centuries. It began around 1430 when artist Jan van Eyck began to borrow the Italian perspective, which focused on detailed realism, intricate symbolism, linear perspective, and realistic figurative approach for his paintings. He was born 1385 and died July 9, 1441. He was known as a Flemish painter. Other artists from Germany, Switzerland, Austria, and the Low Countries began to incorporate those same influences into their own work. The Protestant Reformation stepped in idealization of beauty surrounding the Roman Catholic Church. Jan van Eyck achieved a sophisticated level of realism unknown in the art of painting, and around the 1500s, knowledge of the Italian Renaissance began to have an impact on Northern Europe art. The next artist is Hieronymus Bosch. He was born in the middle of the 15th century. He was a Dutch Netherlandish painter from Barbant. His real name was Joan van Atken before he changed it. His father and grandfather were painters as well. Bosch was one of the many noble representatives of the early ne Netherlandish painting school. He married a wealthy woman named Aylin. She had land, funds, and status, which made it easier for him to start his workshop. Most of his art was oil and oak wood. His work consisted of religious concepts and narratives. He was known in the art world, and his peers were very shocked at his approach to painting. His work made it all the way to Europe. His most famous piece was the Garden of Earthly Delights. Renaissance refers to the term rebirth. In this case, it is the rebirth of art and literature. The Italian Renaissance is centered around the rebirth of Greek and Roman culture. The Northern Renaissance occurred in different areas of Europe around 1430. The Northern Renaissance used techniques similar to the Italian Renaissance, but did not have the same themes throughout the artwork or tools, which resulted in different styles. Because the artists rejected ideas of the medieval era, the Northern Renaissance helped to bring Europe out of the Dark Ages. The Northern Renaissance also contributed to Christian humanism and combine religious and secular ideas. Christian humanism combines the teachings of the church with practical experience and knowledges. Since the Roman Catholic Church was facing pushback during this time because of the Reformation, this art became very popular as it took a more worldly approach to art while still incorporating religious aspects.